So the last view we want to create in this section of the course is our views slideshow. We want to have a slideshow of all of the pictures connected to our hotel in a little block that shows up here. There are multiple steps to this, but you recall we've already installed View Slideshow and we've already updated our content type with a whole bunch of images from our hotels that we use Devel to generate. So we're ready to go ahead and build the view. Click on Structure, Views, and Add New View. The view name is going to be Hotel Slides. We're going to show content of type hotels. We'll create a block. And it's going to not be an unformatted list, but a slideshow of fields. That's important. We don't want just a teaser. We want the ability to grab the fields out of the content type. Go ahead and change this to zero. This means unlimited, so however many slides are in the slideshow, that's how many will play. Click Save and Edit. And this isn't going to work just yet. We've got some work to do. The first thing, let's get our fields set up. Go ahead and click on Content Title. And we're going to exclude this from the display. We don't need to know what the title of the slide is. Click Apply. Let's add the slide field. Click Add and search for Slides. Go ahead and choose the top one here, Slides Appears in Hotel, and click Apply. Everything here is set except the image style. Let's use that medium image style. That's a nice size for our block. And under Multiple Field Settings, Go ahead and uncheck display all values in the same row because we want to use a slideshow. If we did that, then, well, they'd all show up at once. Go ahead and click Apply. And so here's all of the slides from the one content item that we have displaying at this point. One of my rules when using views is to save early and save often, so go ahead and save your view. The next step is to set up the context. We don't want all the slides from every hotel displaying in our block. We want them to only show up for the hotel we're looking at. So on the contextual filter, click Add. And go ahead and type the word Node. We want to get the Node ID from the current URL. So select Node ID and click Apply. When the filter is not available, Go ahead and choose Provide the Default Value and get the Content ID from the URL and click Apply. Now in our view, everything disappears because we don't have a context, of course. Go ahead and click Save. And we need to place the block. Go to Structure and Block Layout and scroll down to Sidebar first and click Place Block. Our view that we just created is right here called Hotel Slides. Click Place Block. We want to limit this to the content type of Hotels. That way our block is not going to show up everywhere, only when we're on a hotel page, thereby connecting it with the context that we set up. Click Save Block. And click Save Blocks. Let's head over to our hotels. I'm going to go to my home page. I'm going to go to content. And I'm going to just quickly scroll down and go to my hotel Drupal. And here are my slides. And nothing's working. Well, don't worry. I knew that was going to be the case. With the views slideshow, we unfortunately need to add a library. We go back to structure and views. And let's edit our slideshow view. If I click on Settings for Slideshow, you're going to notice that the cycle type needs a jQuery cycle plugin. We'll create a directory in Libraries, which will be in Drupal root, and 
call it jQuery.cycle, copy jQuery.cycle.all.js into it. And of course, unfortunately, at the time of this recording, <laughs> the link to the plugin is missing. Well, I happen to know where it is. So go ahead and click Cancel out of that. So this is actually pretty easy to find. If you just Google Drupal 8 Views Slideshow Cycle jQuery, it'll bring you to malsup.com slash jQuery slash cycle. Go ahead and head over to that URL and click download the cycle plugin. Go ahead and get the full plugin. Click on cycle plugin and copy all of the text on that page to your clipboard. At your web host, go ahead into your control panel and click on file manager and then click on public HTML. And here's the file structure for your Drupal 8 site. Core is stored in this core folder. Our modules, site information, themes are stored in those folders. And as your core from the instructions, we need to create a libraries folder. This is a little bit different than Drupal 7 where everything outside of the sites folder was core and you didn't touch anything. So create a new folder called libraries. Inside the libraries folder, go ahead and create a new folder called jQuery.cycle. The file name is jQuery.cycle.all.js, and this is important. It needs to be jQuery dot cycle dot all dot js. Go ahead and open that file, paste everything that you got from the plugin. The key thing here is it needs to be in your site libraries jQuery dot cycle and the name of the file must be jQuery dot cycle dot all dot js. You may need to click pause here in the video to get all of that accomplished. Go ahead and get that done and come on back. Now, because we've made actual structural changes to our site, we actually need to flush our cache. When you take the theming and layout course or the module development course, believe me, you'll get used to this. Under the Drupal 8 icon, there's a flush all caches. Go ahead and click that. That will tell Drupal to go ahead and reload everything from scratch, including all of the cache JavaScript. And so now when I click on the settings for my slideshow, you'll notice that that error message is now gone. And if I come back out to my site and wait just a moment, I should see all of the slides show up for my hotel Drupal. And indeed I do. So view slideshow is an easy way to set up a contextual view using the content out of your content type to put it in a block and have slides from your hotel show up right there on your page.